this is Idaho Ambassador, aka Hillary Lee, and I'm here with one of my good friends, Jen Williams. And Hello. we are here today. And wait, hold on. I want to give you our handle first. It is non. Uh, this is, your, is how this, this is how we vegan. This is how you vegan. Oh, sorry. Yeah. This is how you vegan. <laughs> Something I know nothing about. That's if okay. you know anything That's about me, about we're gonna we're gonna dive into that. So, this is a topic I'm. I really know not very much not very much about yeah and that doesn't okay. make any sense but it's right. a lot of, it's, i think a lot of people are in your shoes yes and yeah. especially in this state right so it's definitely it's starting to take a little bit of hold but it we're all like very it. carnivorous out yes. here <laughs> so how long have you been vegan why did you go vegan sure tell me about it we'll just start yeah. okay so i started this whole journey uh about two years ago so initially, I went vegetarian. Yeah. Um, I kept eggs and a little bit of cheese in my diet, um, but I felt I still felt a bit uneasy. Did about you ever that. cheat with fish? Because I know a lot of vegetarians I never cheated that with cheat fish. with fish. That's called. I would call that a pescatarian. Oh, okay. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't yeah, know all the yeah, there's all these terms, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I didn't. I didn't cheat with with any animals. Um, I was still consuming a little, uh, some eggs and a little bit of cheese, like I said. Yeah. Um, but I still felt very hypocritical. So it was probably a year after that that I cut everything out. So all up now, it's been about two years. So, um, yeah. Now, did you? Did you cut it out for guilt reasons, or did you cut yeah. it out for health reasons? I cut it out for, for guilt reasons. And, so, uh, well, what, where did the guilt come from? So, I honestly, this was something that has always been sitting with me, and I thought about going vegan for probably a good five years. So, this process is not quick. Yeah. Um, some people, it, it looks different for everybody. It's a but large for me, commitment level, from totally. what I understand. So, yeah, totally. So, for me, I, I thought about it for several years, and um, the the motivating factor at the time was for the cruelty to animals and i am a huge lover of animals yeah. um and i i hate to see anything suffer um so that's what it was for me um it quickly evolved into um you know the health benefits the environmental benefits um all up in one so yeah so it started with a little bit of the guilt trigger yeah and then we moved into feeling yeah. the results right and the health Totally. In so it didn't take long for me to start feeling the health benefits. So it was probably from that. like me with gluten. Totally. It was like totally. Well, oh, maybe we should do this. Maybe we should do this. Right. Oh, and then I did it, and it was like, oh my like, god, oh my I god. Look, this is what normal. Yeah, the heavens like, part. Norm, right. Normal people feel like this. <laughs> yeah, totally. Like, they don't wake up with like headaches and mood swings and pain right. every day. It's totally. Hundred percent. Okay, so I'm curious. Was it was it really hard at first? I would. Like, I mean, get, I, going you know, vegetarian looking back, looks a little easier, yeah. but as soon as you go vegan, it's like... Looking back in hindsight, I, I probably was a bit um, fearful initially. Um, but I think what we do a lot of times is we create this massive story in our head um, that we, we create problems, you know, before yeah. we even try anything. So I think a lot of it was this story that I built up into my head that it was going to be really difficult. Yeah. Um, but for me, I really, really tried to just start cooking, getting into the kitchen more um, and saying, hey, OK, what foods do I like? Um, now, how do I make them vegan? Right. So I started oh, with things yeah. that I already love, like like me with a zoodle. Yeah. I'm totally. obsessed with zoodles right yeah. now. Yeah, zoodle it up, girl. And just add in all the vegetables, <laughs> yeah, right? Like, like, just like keep, everything. I'm just going to keep zoodling yeah, or just doodling things. Don't add any meat products in. <laughs> so I, I always suggest to people, like, when, you're start, when you start, mm -hmm. start with something that's easy, that you already know you like. So say we're going to do tacos, right? Yeah. Just omit, omit the ground beef. Start adding in beans, lentils, vegetables. Get really creative. Make it colorful. Still use the same seasonings that, you're, that you've yeah. used in the past. But start simple. Start in a place that you already know. Because well, that protein thing is going to be – that would be that would be the hardest for me because, like, my body, just because of how much meat products I eat, mm -hmm. and, I'm just, and I also do, you know, beans and things like that. Course, but I, yeah. my body craves protein, especially Animal, like when me. I am actually working out. Like, right. I'm like, give me protein. Sure. So is that really hard to replace, or are there, a, there are a lot more options than just, like, beans and – Right. See, because I don't do soy. Yeah, that's I try okay. to avoid it as much yeah. as possible, and I feel like a lot Why of the things – Why do you avoid soy? Because massive amounts of it is not very good for you. Right. But small amounts is okay. But if you you're know? vegan and vegetarian, a lot you of your options yeah. are soy. That's true. So right? that that's true if you're eating a lot of processed, uh, pre-made foods, right? Which 
So, which should be minimized yeah. in any kind of diet, yes. right? So, it, you know, like I, the people I, that go gluten free that go buy boxes yeah. of like this is yeah, chemical number six twelve, yeah. and I'm like, what? Why do, totally, why totally. are you even doing that? It yeah. doesn't make any sense. Well, and I always I say this too. I'm like, you can do a vegan diet poorly just as much as you can do an omnivorous diet poorly. So yeah, it, well, it takes, I was trying to avoid dairy and meat, but of course I can't have gluten. And I, right. like, was trying to figure out what I was going to eat. Right. Like, because I work so much, I was, like, trying to go, like, get something to eat. Right. And I'm like, right. What do I do? What is there? Yeah. What do I do? And that's a big challenge because we're disrupting um, uh, many, many years of conditioning and habits, right? So yeah. we're having to kind of redefine our food habits. And that can be daunting. So I totally understand that. So in regards to, like, you mentioned, in like, environmental factors Mm -hmm. what what exactly are those that maybe myself or other people don't really realize right so the the amount of land that we're using to um, factory farm animals is is astronomical so and we're thinking about the amount of animals that we're producing in large farm settings Um, they release waste they use water they use electricity that waste filters into our water systems Um, the gases get into our air we're chopping down rainforests all of this is critical to our survival as a species you know yeah um so we're we're seeing um i mean whether you believe in it or not (laughs) um you know we're we're affecting you know the 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 status of our planet well so one of my questions is and and they this is something I've always been curious about is like I meet so many people that are either like vegan or vegetarian Mm -hmm. and these are some of their points Mm -hmm. right but my question to them is like do you still drive a car Mm -hmm. that's true Do you still buy stuff from forever 21 which is pure petroleum that gets thrown into it like a landfill and 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 this is the same thing I always people with business right it's like at what point do you draw that line where do your where's your moral compass stop Right. right because you know, you and I are very much on the same wavelength yeah. when it comes to those things. But it's yeah. like we buy things from brands that are a little bit better to the environment right. and that don't necessarily get manufactured in China. Right. And so it's like at what point do you draw that line and, and how did you establish that line for yourself? Right, right. So I think I, th- this is a very, very good point. Um, we can only do as best as we can, right? Yeah. I think it would be really difficult to omit everything that has a negative impact on the yeah, environment. Yeah, we would be like you know? just sitting there. Oh wait, no, no, <laughs> yeah. too late. Like, can I breathe? Too bad the lights are on. No, that's not good. <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah, so I think just raising our level of awareness and just doing the best that we can yeah. from you know eating a vegan diet um, to you know maybe riding a bicycle more than you drive your car or. Um, Stop using plastic bags or plastic straws. Ooh, you get, know, get just, a water bottle like there this. There you go. Something, Shout out to Hydroplast. Yeah, something Sorry. that's more. <laughs> like the the hashtag <laughs> Hydroplast. <laughs> yes. um, something that's just more sustainable. And you know, I I try to eliminate as much waste as I can. Am I still wasteful? Definitely. You know, there's yeah, always. I mean, I feel like we all. Right. There's always ways to improve. But I think a lot of times um, we get caught with this burden of you know, start using plastic straws, stop using plastic bags when. There's a bigger issue at hand. We have uh, large sea nets out in our yeah. oceans that yeah. are damaging sea life. We have a, a, well, an area in the ocean the size of Texas full of rubbish that we're not cleaning up. Well, you know? and even so the fashion bigger... thing I mentioned is like that's actually one of the biggest polluters right now. Yeah. Is these people like totally you're buying these six dollar garments and you're throwing them away because they rip and then you send them to these you yeah. donate them right and send them to these other countries where they then have to burn it mm-hmm. and it's. Well, to follow that up, too, I mean, there's been several documentaries that hint at us, you know, driving our cars less because of the fumes and and how they pollute the air. Um, But when you, going back to what I said about the factory farming, they're the number one contributors to the greenhouse gas effect, you know, but we don't talk about that. If you're going to eat meat, (laughs) you better eat Steve Campbell's beef. Shout out, Steve. Uh, Like, but that's not, we're not talking factory farm. And that goes back to, like, some of my core principles, right? It's like, if I'm going to eat beef, I'm going to eat beef that I know was made or farmed right. in a way, in a yeah. responsible fashion. If you are going to choose to not be vegan or vegetarian, sure. like at least choose to be a consumer of the right products sure. instead of these mass-produced products that yeah. are that are doing these things. Sure. And so I totally understand that, and I yeah. and I you know understand your perspective and many people's perspective on that. Yeah. Um, as as a vegan, my perspective on that is. 
if I don't need it, yeah. if my body does not require it for survival, yeah. um, I'm not going to touch it, you yeah. know? And then it goes back to uh, do no harm. You know, I studied Buddhism for a long time, and that's kind of where this idea, uh, you know, was first ignited yeah. um, because I want to do the least amount of ta- harm on yeah. this planet while I'm here. Right, and that right, means right. to you, yeah. that means to any living thing. I, I won't even step on an ant, okay? Like, I cannot. <laughs> when, when a, in other words, she's a saint. I don't know. Because there's a spider in no. my room, sorry, spider, you're getting squashed. No, see, I, 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 I welcome that little spider <laughs> oh, in my hand. I'm so and not I set him free outside. No, you know, but it's just, you know, I just, for me, yeah. Um, that aligns with my values and just who I want to be while I'm here. Yeah. Um, so, so that, you know, that's, that's where I'm at. But. Yeah. Well, and one of the things that I like about, like, obviously we're friends, but like, mm-hmm. is that a lot of times I feel like sometimes like vegans or vegetarians can be very pushy about it mm-hmm. and you've never been like, oh, thank you. you've never been like yeah. outwardly pushy or yeah. made me feel weird about anything because a lot of times, like, I think that this is just. Honestly, I think that sometimes vegans or vegetarians can get a bad rap. Yeah, because, I agree. Because, like, if you follow, like, their Instagram feed or their Facebook mm-hmm. feed, and it's just, like, these things that I'm, like, I don't, like, I get the shock factor what you're yeah. going for, but maybe yeah. having a conversation with me would be yeah. better than you just trying to scare tactic. Right. Well, you know I think I mean? my approach comes from my background um, yeah. in, w- with psychology and social work. It's, like, I don't, you can't force change. No. You know, you can't back people into a corner and expect them to do differently because yeah. when backed in a corner, we fight. It's like, you know, up. exactly. Yeah. So I believe that we should all, you know, t- uh, adopt this gentle, more loving approach. And I would like to lead by example. You know, if yeah. if my testimony um, and experience ex- inspires people to go vegan or at yeah. the very least incorporate more plant based foods into their diet. Yeah. Um, that's a win for me. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, so. a little bit can go a long way. Exactly. If you, you can get multiple people yeah. to do it. Yeah. Well, and that's, that's for me is one of those things that I was like, I was like, I got to talk to a vegan about this because, <laughs> yeah. because like you're yeah. awesome. And, oh, and several you. of my friends so, are vegan or vegetarian. Yeah. And I just, I grew up in a household with a lot of meat, yeah. which I actually eat we a lot less did. red meat we than I did before yeah. because my body hasn't really been mm-hmm. liking it. it. Yeah. It hasn't yeah. been feeling it much, but it's one of those things where it's like, I feel like coming from like, that culture right mm-hmm. is, is it was always looked upon as like these vegans or vegetarians a lot of time were so extreme that it was almost like the mm-hmm. people i grew up around were like Meh. yeah like no we're not like we're, which is a really interesting perspective yeah. to me because when i hear people say oh vegans are extreme i'm like they're extreme for not killing and eating f- no but i mean they like extreme yeah. in their like vocalization yeah. of their beliefs right. But I think we need that. You know, I think we need... I feel this, like if I'm to, eating a hamburger extent, and you're vegan and you yell at me for oh, it, yeah, that's, that's, that's not uncalled okay. for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I think, yeah. you know, when we looked at our history and yeah. we look at the people who did stand up, you know, and, yeah. and fight for something that they believed Absolutely. in, that they didn't think was going to evoke change then, but hopefully put start, put it in motion, yeah. right? Well, no, and I love the whole vegan trend right now, and I love yeah. where it's going, and we have ton of vegan customers and yeah. I think oh, they're right. all wonderful yeah. I'm just like that's really complicated <laughs> I mean, I'm trying but I can't I don't know if yeah. I can do it but yeah. but it's one of those things where it's like I like I said I think it as long as it's like an open discussion right you'll bring a lot more people to the table right then it's like in politics yes. right it's the same thing it's like yeah. if you're just open to having a discussion 100%. and yeah. and allowing those people to still feel however they feel right but maybe you can enlighten them a little right. bit you know I'm, I'm with you I yeah. think we need to have these conversations more and have people come to the table open and ready to listen and, yeah. and learn, you know, but not just with veganism, with yeah. a lot of the social er- issues we're experiencing today. But what happens is that, you know, they become really difficult. And so we just avoid them. Yeah, we're just like, and, we're not going to talk about <laughs> yeah, it. But it needs to happen. And that's yeah. why I'm happy that this is happening because yeah. at least hopefully that'll inspire others. To no, have I mean, the I mean, like, I'm, I won't dare to say maybe we should do a vegan challenge, but I'm kind of tempted Let's to say maybe we should do a yeah. vegan challenge. I don't know if I'm going to have withdrawals, though. But <laughs> That's okay. Maybe. Look you know, for it on the, on yeah, the social media people. Yeah. Maybe I'll do a vegan challenge. We'll come up, I'll come up with a, a, a program for, for those 30 <laughs> days. Yeah. One month vegan. Hey, and maybe Meal my plans. body will feel even better, like yeah. the gluten. Right. But it's one of those things, it's like, but that's, again, I just can't repeat this enough, is like having that open conversation. Right. 
Whereas, to be really blunt with you, I have had conversations with other vegans and vegetarians, and yeah. it was not this civil. Yeah. Like, and you're obviously yeah. an adult. Yeah. And we're friends. But <laughs> yeah. it was one of those things where it was like, it, it was, and I didn't even start the conversation. It was like, yeah. just so like, blunt and yeah. straight to the I, head. I, I, it's like, I don't want to do that. You're not going to, no, like, but you're not cool. going to win that way. Like, no, you're not you know? going to, you're not going to win that way. Yeah. And, um, you know, it, it, I can understand where they're coming from because there's been times yeah. in my journey where oh, I sure. nearly break down in tears sitting in a restaurant and you know like, and and I've had family members be really unsupportive I've had friends be really unsupportive but at the same time I have this community of people who yeah. who is really supportive and what I have to remember which I hope that they hear this too is that this is a long game you know yeah. what I mean change doesn't happen I'm not doing this overnight. because it's a two week fad I know I everybody's like it. right yeah. I know everybody's not going to go vegan Can in my life you know I know. Yeah, I literally know how you feel yeah, yeah. I know you do yeah. I know you do but this is this is a long game and yeah. you know as long as we contribute to what we believe in and I want people to you know later look at me and and have a good experience with a vegan yeah not be like oh I, I don't want to no. do that because that person that I talked to was an asshole you yeah. know yeah. like I want them to remember you know well and I think that that's a positive in, too. influential vegan yeah. right yeah. I will know 100% and it's really hard for it's hard for some business owners, and I've had a lot of conversation with other business owners and restaurateurs, mm -hmm. that it's like, not for us. We love the vegans. Like, yeah. our stuff is so easy to make vegan. Yeah. Rochelle is so talented yeah. that she's just like, oh, I can make yeah. a vegan. It's not the, yeah. No big deal. <laughs> yeah. But but at the same time, I think, I mean, just like we've been talking about, in order for us to, like, invoke those changes, mm -hmm. we have to be a little bit a little bit grateful for those that are trying. Yeah. Because I've, I've encountered a few things, and this obviously is, has nothing to do with you, but in some of the vegan communities where it's like, well, they have vegan options, mm -hmm. but they still do this. Mm -hmm. And it's like, but it is still a business. Right. And if you want and people. Trying. And if yeah. they're trying. Like, yeah. please, people, if you yeah. hear one thing. <laughs> yes. Like, if there's someone is offering a vegan item or going out of their way to switch knives or mm -hmm. any of those things, like, they are trying. Yeah. And remember yeah. that. They don't have to, but they, yeah. it's like it's like when people try to like do gluten free stuff for us. It's right. like I tell everybody, I'm like, be grateful that that person is trying. Maybe they're not yeah. celiac friendly or like safe, right? But but they're going out of their way to provide an item for yes. you, yeah, just to be kind, right? And we also have to understand that this is this is where education is really important. Yeah, um, that we begin to start educating the communities yeah. on these. Um, on these topics, right? Yeah. Because I mean, I've had you know, there's people sometimes just don't know what they don't being know the vegan is. They no. don't know what they don't. gluten is. You know, yes. I've had I've asked somebody if it was if, if this is vegan. They're like, well, it's gluten free. I'm like, and you're like, that's, that's not, not the, the same, same thing. thing. But they don't know, you yes. know. And so we, like you said, we have to support these businesses. We have to continue oh, to educate the community um, so that they're aware and then they can provide whatever it is they need to yeah. for everybody. Well, and that's for for us from a standpoint you know we we tend to treat like veganism or vegetarian we try to we tend to treat it like an allergy like we would with the gluten or dairy yeah, sure. right because it's yeah it's also that same boat it's like you know it's i walk we walk in a restaurant we sit down and we're like this isn't the gluten-free bun and mm -hmm. they kind of go well it's gluten-free and you're like yeah. you're like don't be a jerk about it you're <laughs> yeah. like take a deep breath yeah. you're like okay I need a gluten-free bun. Right. I can't have any wheat. I can't, yeah. you know what I mean? And you kind of have to yeah. explain it because some people truly don't know. And it's the sure. same with being vegan. Like, yeah. I mean, I've sat down before and I was like, oh, I didn't even realize that honey was like, you can't right. have honey? Yeah. I was like, yeah. but my friends are beekeepers and they're so nice yeah. to their bees. Yeah, so like, yeah. no. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's one of those things. So yeah. it's like, obviously I know now because of right. my business, but it like, I would have known that right. two or three years ago. I would have never, but I never would have thought of it. Right. And so it just happened. I didn't think of this you know 10 I mean? years ago, you know, well, so. No, exactly. Yeah. And, like, being able to just, like, calmly have the conversation with the person. Whereas, yeah. I mean, trust me, we all get it. We've all been there yeah. where you're just like, just get it right. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm going to struggle you. But <laughs> but it's, like you said, it's a lot of education, I think. Yeah, And definitely. so, like, okay, so just for the layman's terms of everybody. Mm -hmm. So being vegetarian is no animal products. Vegetarian will As still in include, yeah, vegetarian will still include. Include oftentimes like eggs, so nothing that you kill. Dairy, so no like and no no meat. I guess you would say. Yeah, so no, no fish, no poultry, no beef. Right. Nothing right. that you 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then veganism, veganism is no product by an animal. Right, no animal meat. byproduct whatsoever, but there's another term that we could also add into, into this, and this is plant-based. So a plant-based diet would be, uh, your, your entire diet is, is based around plant-based foods. Um, the difference, between that and veganism is vegans don't use any animal-based products, whether it's in their food, whether it's in your hair products, your makeup, your household cleaning oh, okay. items, So it everything. goes all the way into your full spectrum. Your whole life So you know, I would is, probably is be more plant-based if I were to ever do that than I would be full right, vegan. Right, because you might still, yeah, exactly. Because I mean, I'm probably not gonna yeah. read every label because I just Right, yeah, and there's a lot out there. You quick. know, there's a lot out there. And, and as we know, like these, Products are expensive. Like if you have the same kind of makeup I do, it's expensive, right? So uh, yeah. you kind of have to just like you know slowly cycle it out. Yeah. Well, and 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 I think that one of the important things is like just remember to like read your labels mm -hmm. and know what you're buying, or yes. also at least know what that brand supports at exactly. the same time. Because exactly. you know there are a lot of brands that are going out of their way to try and right. like remove things or not do totally. any animal testing or right. do any which of those is things. huge. Animal testing is huge. I mean, guys. I will it's, just. It's, I mean, I mean, we kill billions of animals a year, you know, yeah, and, exactly. and if you've ever, you know, if you watch these documentaries and, and you look into the treatment of these animals um, yeah. in testing facilities, it's, it's pretty excruciating. And we have to remember that these, I mean, it's just like you and I yeah. being in there and being placed under testing and being tortured, yeah. you I mean, know, I make and a break for it. God, I know. Well, yeah. shoot, yeah. me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, me too. I would try my damn best. I'd be but, the rabid dog that goes right. after him because I'm like, you're taking me. I'm going, you're going down right. with me. <laughs> <laughs> No. So this is what, you know, this is what, all, you know, all vegans, um, yeah. you know, are participating in is just omitting that treatment on all levels. Yeah. Um, all across the spectrum. Well, so. and I mean, your guys' food always looks so pretty. And it tastes good. You know, girl, there's times where I've, I, I've kind of taken over the family holidays at this point And I'm yeah. like, you know what? I'm cooking Thanksgiving. I'm cooking vegan. And my family's like, oh, my God, I never thought vegetables could taste so good right you know but we just have to learn how to prepare them yeah um when i think you know. and you're smart enough with like dietary knowledge that you mm -hmm. could you could also work enough protein into a meal where you're not going to eat it and then be like i'm starving right right you know what i mean yeah there's so many elements right so between the macro and the micronutrients um you do have to be mindful on a vegan diet because there are areas that you can become deficient in but again same with an omnivorous diet so yeah. we i mean look at statistically the rise of the lifestyle diseases that we have, all the result yeah. <laughs> of our diet and lifestyles, yeah. you know? So a lot of times people ask ask me, you know, well, what about your protein? What about your, your nutrients? You know, like, yeah. you're gonna be deficient in protein. I'm like, nobody's done, been deficient in protein ever. It's not a thing. We yeah. naturally get I mean, I'm not protein. gonna be frail and just wander off. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. Most people consume two to three times the amount of protein you need anyway. So that's an excess, right? Yeah. Um, but there's been this massive craze and push for protein consumption consumption since I mean our entire lives but yeah. um big kinda business like, kind of like wheat big business you know and so it's just it's promoting the sale of of, of meat you know yeah. and we've always equated meat with protein but um protein is in everything everything it's in all of our plant-based yeah, foods just what amount of it are you getting from mm -hmm. what you're so there's certain plant-based foods that contain the entire amino acid profile um, some of them don't, you know, um, but what we know is that we kind of have this pool of amino acids, right? And yeah. so as long as you're continually eating um, a variety of foods, you're replenishing that pool. So yeah. your body is never going to be deficient in protein. So if you wanted to, like, if so, like, okay, we'll, you, me, we'll use me as an example. Okay. <laughs> Say I was like, okay, Jen, I'm going to, like, give this thing a world yeah what would be your like first step advice like would you say like maybe try going vegetarian mm -hmm. then maybe go plant-based then yeah. like like well, what would be well everybody's a little bit different um like when I went vegetarian I I started out saying okay I'm gonna do one day a week and just see how that goes so I did one day and I felt amazing so I'm like I'm gonna do yeah. another day felt amazing and then that that process never stopped. I never went back to eating meat because I yeah. just felt so you good. You just felt a lot better. Um, yeah, but I think I think it would be a matter of sitting down and being like, okay, what can you commit to? Do you want to commit to one meal a day? Do you want to commit to just breakfast? Do you want to commit to one day a week? Yeah. Um, just identify what is doable for you. Um, the next thing I like to suggest to people is to get out and, try, and try new foods. You know, yeah. um, there's a lot of vegan and vegetarian options in multicultural foods. So from you know Lebanese to Turkish to um, Thai Ooh. to I know to Mexican, like a lot of these dishes 
are plant-based, you know, yeah, and they're vegan. easily like and easy, yeah. you know. And so what I like to say is, go out and try these things, and then you will be inspired to make them at home on your and own. You're like, wait a minute, you know? that was actually really good. Yeah, like and yeah, I didn't. It's know like that that when was I possible. switched out zoodles. There you go. It was yeah. like, well, I can't eat gluten, so I have to eat these weird gluten noodles. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, and you learned you loved a it. zoodle. Yeah, exactly. I'm obsessed with them. Yeah. Sorry. Like, yeah, no, they're so if good. You don't, if you haven't had zoodles, yeah. or or even I put cucumber and carrot into noodle too so and mix it all together. How colorful is that? That's awesome. It was beautiful. Right. Was like, yeah. Well and then done. I made an avocado cream sauce go nice. with it, which technically I think is vegan. Avocado, what did you put in it? Avocado, avocado oil. Yeah. You can use olive oil too. Yeah. Um, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, and then maybe some spices that I'll nice. a little zest Cilantro. In there, basically, yeah. yeah. Mm, that sounds good. Or like a pesto. Yeah. Those are all vegan, yeah. right? Yeah, totally. So it's like I'm totally. making these Pesto things. that you buy in the store generally no, is I not don't. vegan because it has Parmesan in it, but you could easily would, make yeah. that at home. Blender food processor, yeah. you can whip that up quick. Well, so. and like BioLife cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is another thing that we can talk about because a lot of people are like, I cannot give up cheese, Dude, you know? no, I am a cheese fiend. But, I'm Norwegian <laughs> and I eat I know. fish and cheese like it's going out so of style. So this is also another way, I uh, like, to... Another suggestion would be, okay, if you're thinking about going vegan, but we're going to take this in a slow process, start start introducing Tried and making subs. substitutions, right? Yeah. So obviously, I don't even think people use dairy milk in their coffees anymore. I think it's so... I don't I think it's dairy. become a thing that yeah. we do, you know, um, soy, almond, coconut, yeah. oat, you know, yeah. whatever. Um, but that's an easy substitution. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of vegan cheeses on the market girl, that are amazing. Hashtag so, BioLife, like V-I-O-L-I-F-E. Yes, yeah, and they make some great Parmesan some mozzarella so some when really lemon tree stuff. opened which mm -hmm. again if you're vegan a really awesome place to try yes. and yeah. then you wouldn't even know you're eating a vegan sandwich no no but i i was trying to again remove dairy and yeah. so i had our gluten-free bread which is also vegan nice and then i was like okay sub out the cheese for the vile life cheese yes. and i literally went back up there and was like guys i think you put the wrong cheese on my sandwich <laughs> i think this is and, dairy. and we were talking yeah. he and i were talking about this the other day yeah. and it's uh, no yeah he's like no that's the right cheese right. it was i didn't know the difference yeah it was insane yeah. Like, Again, going back to uh, our thought processes and how we create stories in our head. And, um, you know, if you don't think something will be an issue, then it won't be an issue. You know, yeah. and I know that's easier. Stop said, looking for it. it. Exactly. And I know that sounds easier said than done, but it almost yeah. is as simple as that. You yeah. know, it's like if you're telling yourself, I can't give this up, I can't give this up, yeah. you know, um, if, then you're, you're not right. going to give you're it right. up. You're right. You know, you're yeah. right. You're going to constantly When you're find thinking about it issue. all the time, and exactly. it's going to it's gonna come to But when head. you make a decision, when mm -hmm. you make a decision and say, I can, and start using phrases in the affirmative, um, and, yeah. and, and, and change and your mindset a little exactly. bit, then th anything is possible, right? Totally. You know? I, I mean, this is coming from an athlete. Um, yeah. I, used to be, I was an athlete. I was a bodybuilder. I ate 200 grams of protein a day some days, you know, all animal-based products. And Holy cow. I would have never thought that I, at would. the time, could do what, I, do what I'm doing now, you yeah. know? Um, but it was the best thing I could have done for myself. And do you just feel like, does your body just feel better? Or do you think it's yeah. like partly a mental mindset where you're yeah. like, I feel better about myself, mm -hmm. but I also feel better? Yeah, I definitely think it's a combination of those. But um, ultimately, the first, uh, you know, physical benefits that I started seeing was yeah. I was a long time acne sufferer, like cystic yeah. acne all along my jawline, every, like everywhere. Yeah. That was the first thing that started to clear up for me. Um, in addition to that, like my sleep um, got better. I started sleeping all the way through Ooh, the night. I, mean, I, um, I wasn't bloated anymore. And I didn't really realize how inflamed how I bloated was you were, yeah. mm -hmm, until after I was like, wow, this is what that feels like. Like, I feel light, yeah. you know, yeah. in my tummy. Um, so skin, um, belly, um, better sleep. Um, what was an, what's another thing? See, I can think of migraines. I, I was dairy, a migraine I sufferer. for sure feel that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's very, it's very, migraines it's very inflammatory. Migraines. I've been a migraine sufferer since I was five. I would be in the hospital, knocked out for two days on Demerol, like just all growing up, right? So as soon as I changed my diet, though, I also changed my lifestyle. I diet also started, is really key, though. Right. I but mean, I also started implementing yeah. um, better stress management skills. Yeah. Um, so I was not only managing my stress, eating better, sleeping better. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I don't even remember the last time I had a migraine. So That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And I don't get sick anymore. I haven't had the cold, the flu, nothing. She's a superhuman, though, by the way. Before. Well... 
you know. Cut the meat. <laughs> Cut the meat. Be you as know? gorgeous as she is. No, thank you. I wish. I don't, um, I don't think I could grow like six no. inches. But, but <laughs> yeah. it, we're all working with but what we got. Maybe I'll get a little skinny. No. That would be cool with me. No. No. Yeah, but, it, you know, it, it, was, it, it was pretty wild to see, yeah. to see these benefits. Also, too, you do just feel better because yeah. you feel like you're making an impact you know so yeah. it kind of just changes how, well, how you're, you follow, you're actually yourself. following through with your goals and beliefs which of course in exactly. turn is going to make you feel better exactly as well yes so question for you um i have a lot of people that obviously gluten-free is our thing mm -hmm. and we had a lo really large when we had our truck actually open for a lot of hours we had a lot of like gluten-free vegans sure is that a, is that a demographic? Is that like a pretty big demographic? It or, must be. I mean, because anytime know, like yeah. like barbecue for life obviously does vegan items and they yeah. carry our bread, and then lemon tree does vegan items yeah. and they carry our bread, and they just go through it like crazy. Yeah. It must be, but you also have to consider like you know I don't believe I'm gluten yeah. intolerant, but I think it's wise to kind of steer away like, from that because yeah. ultimately what Choose we want to do organic or non-gmo yeah. ingredients and yeah ultimately what we want to do is avoid inflammation in the body because we know inflammation yeah. breeds disease right so yeah. um if we can just avoid those things altogether then why wouldn't we yeah right oh that makes total sense yeah <laughs> so what what would you say was the absolute hardest thing about going vegan uh not plant-based but vegan yeah i think the hardest thing going vegan was the social aspect oh yeah yeah it wasn't so much the commitment that i had made because once you once you know better you do better so yeah. once you have the education it's easy to make the choice yeah. right once you know what's going on it's like okay that's a no-brainer no big deal um but i think my hardest adjustment was um, once you have this knowledge, you kind of start looking at the people around you and you're like, why are you doing this too? You know, like what's wrong with you? Let me help you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you, but you know, I had to, um, you know, take a breath, step back and understand that this process for me was years in the making, you yeah. know, and that, um, everybody's on their own, in, on their own journey and in their own process. And, and the best that I can do is just um, stay true yeah. to what what means uh, something to me and just lead by example. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I've heard it all. I've heard the jokes and, and, and they, they still happen. You know, yeah. people, you know, well, make, I make fun of making, myself all the time. Yeah. So, but know. they're like, oh, you're going to go eat that grass over there. You know, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know. But just silly all stuff. Right, like, or, or how about you know, that? Can I get <laughs> extra gluten in that? I know. Like, <laughs> you know, so it, it's, I feel your it's pain, still there. Me. You know, you just deal with it. But I feel like I have a lot more in common with vegans than I realize. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, we're a tribe. We're, we're a, a tribe. We're a little yeah. bit. Of, we're a little bit handicapped. We're all special, but you know what? Yeah, it's all good. But yeah, that was probably the hardest thing, and just um, you know, learning to just manage and deal with the social stigma that yeah. comes with being a vegan. You know, so yeah, absolutely. You just get better and better at it, though. All right. Well, I don't know if I have any more questions. I feel like I just gained so yeah. much knowledge. From oh, I do want to talk about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, vegan bite night. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about that so, real quick. So Jen is her platform that we talked about is this is how you vegan. This is how you vegan. As in spelled out like Y O U. Y -O -U. Yep. And so one of the things that she's gonna start doing in combination with her platform is hosting bite nights. Yes. So it's called Vegan Bite Night. Uh, the first one is August 7th at Mai Tai. Mm -hmm. um, basically, it's a two-hour event um, slash dinner slash seminar where I'll be talking about veganism, the benefits of be veganism, um, how to answering yeah. all of these questions that we have <laughs> all about. The like yeah, that, no, yeah. all of the questions that we have about it, you know. Um, so we're going. We'll we'll do that, and okay. we'll also sit down and try all the food um, at Mai Tai restaurant that's vegan. And how many how many spots do you so have? So we have fifteen spots available. So oh, seating is so limited. So you better get your tickets. Yeah, you got to get on it now. Uh, so. By the time this video is released, the they should be available. Yeah, they, if they will not be available. Already sold out. Yeah. <laughs> and how much are tickets? They will be available. It's thirty dollars. Thirty dollars and includes it's, dinner. Includes dinner. Yep. You get a drink. Um, or no? you get uh no drink, but okay, you get uh dinner. Yeah. Um, that you get an entry into the raffle, which Ooh. is a big basket full of all of my favorite vegan goodies. Oh. Um, to get you started, right? Yeah. Um, and then you also get the free. Um, I have a, a how-to guide essentially of how to go vegan. So oh, cool. It's a 
free three step guide uh, to going vegan. Awesome. And that will be. And if they don't go to the event, is that can they buy that on your website? So or? that's a free. It's a free oh, doc, free. and it is available on the website. So that you can go on my website. Um, this is howyouvegan.com. Request that, and I'll also be releasing an ebook soon that Yay. contains more in depth information, recipes, workouts, all of it. So oh, cool, I love it. Yeah. Well, awesome. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Well, thank you for joining oh, me. Of this is actually Thanks, really guys. my mind feels a little bit blown. Yeah, right if now. you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me yeah. um, anywhere on the and website, me as, social. Me as well. Yeah. Just let me know if you have any questions <laughs> yeah. and I can relay it there if you, go. you don't want to just ask yeah, her. Yeah, definitely. And then, and then I'm not going to commit to this 100% on tape. But, or this video. <laughs> you already have. I love that it's tape. Yeah. But I may or may not do a vegan challenge. Yes. We'll talk about it. It'll be a gluten free vegan challenge, which people is actually, I think, a step harder. You know what? You could do anything for 30 days. That's true. Anything. 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 Well, <laughs> well thank you and shout out to Argos Productions. You are our yes, favorite. Thank you. And uh, yeah, follow us both on Instagram or do you have Twitter as well? No, Twitter. Oh, so Instagram, yeah. Twitter, Facebook, Facebook, and Instagram. And Instagram. And, and websites. And websites. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Have a All good right, day. Bye. <laughs>